Okay, I've got a new guest this afternoon. If you love your jewel blended ended pens uh, with the ability to, to blend the colours, but sometimes you're thinking, do you know what? I need something a little bit affordable. I'd like to try it out. Then this is perfect for you. These are blendy pens from Renart. You've got 10 pens with six colours. Uh, you've got the, uh, with, well, eight colours there, I should say. Um, Altogether, I believe you can get 56 colours out of the pens. You've got your magic pen, which changes it. You've also got your detail pen, but the man who's going to show you all about it and has been working with uh, this company for over 30 years is the lovely Mark. Good afternoon, Mark. Hello there. Now, Mark, are you going to show me the magic of how the blendy pens work before I, I rattle on about everything else? Of course. I'm going to hand over to you. Right, OK. Well, blendy pens are a unique set of pens that allow anyone from ages 3 to 103 to blend colours like, I guess, professional artists. So, uh, put my glasses on for this one. So I've got two pens here. So we've got a lovely blue. Now the ink itself is water soluble. If you get it on your hands, clothes, work tops, it washes. And uh, obviously they're non-toxic. So like I say, anybody can use them. Now here's a nice yellow. Now anybody knows that when you mix blue and yellow together, you get blello. No, you don't, you get green. Right, now watch this. You take your two pens, give them a wee twist. Now, if we might be able to see this here, I've actually got the blue ink drifting over on top of the yellow pen. Now, you don't do this with regular felt-tip pens. These are a little bit different. They're designed to do this. So when it goes on the paper now, this should start blue. And then as you colour down and colour in, you start to arrive back at the original colour. So you're essentially uh, cleaning the pen back up again. Now, like I say, it's water soluble, uh, non toxic, and also it uh, doesn't have that strong smell that a lot of alcohol based pens have. What I like about the nibs is the nibs are actually nylon, right? So they're lovely and tough. So if you've got someone in the family like my four year old granddaughter Poppy, uh, even if they go heavy handed with the pen, uh, they won't damage it. And the nibs themselves are really nice to write with, and you get a lovely effect just even by scribbling there. So I love that, I absolutely love it. Now today, they come with a fabulous tool which has got a history all of its own called a blaster. Now the blaster originally arrived at one of the big exhibitions in London over 30 years ago and I saw this tool very similar to it being demonstrated by the artist Tony Hart from, uh, well, Vision On. So you pop your pen in, now this will work with any pen that will fit over the blaster and then all you do is give it a wee bit of a squeeze and what it does is pumps air over the nib of the pen uh, so now when you use it with stencils and by the way the stencils will give you a 60 pack stencils they're made of card so you don't have to wipe them clean to absorb the ink but uh, stenciling is great fun and it works very very well for the artist called Banksy right so nice and quick there and uh, everyone needs a pore poison in their life so we're giving you a wee pore poison there and also in your pen set, you've got a pen which is white and has no obvious colour to it. So if I write with this, not a lot going on there. Now, we call this one the magic pen. And when the magic pen hits the ink that's on the paper, what it does is swaps the colour over. So every pen has got a dual pigment. So my black pen will go purple, my green pen goes yellow. So now when I use it over the ink that's on the paper, you can now use your blends as a lovely backdrop. All right. So just running over everything to chop and change the colour. Or my grandson, Jamie, what he loves to do is secret messages. <laughs> and finally, in your pen set, you've got a pen called a detail pen. Now, if you're into your art, if you really are getting into art, uh, one of my friends, Jana, who's a professional artist, she uses these pens to great effect. A lot of people like using them for doing uh, things at school like uh, uh, if you're doing any projects I like to just jazz up my artwork a wee bit there using the black pen or the detail pen so that's for doing your outlining uh, the whole set the pens as Fiona said you get 10 pens but that actually gives you 56 colors uh, because of the way you can blend and make your colours. We also include the blaster. Remember, that will work with other pens as long as it fits inside it. And 60 stencils for building up your pictures. And it's absolutely exclusive to the channel today. Fiona.
Thank you. Ollie. As a start. Absolutely fabulous start. I already know two people in my household that would love these. Aren't they brilliant and so affordable? So let's just take it through. Yeah, that's that's not Shay and Jed. It's me and Scott. <laughs> We need four sets. Um, right, let's have a little look. So these colours, these are gorgeous, and we'll go straight back again to Mark. As he explained, we've got 56 different colours out of these 10 colours that you see within the set. There's the magic pad. I mean, your secret messages, you're changing over the colour, absolutely brilliant. And then your detail pen. So you get that in the beautiful set. And what I love, Mark does not have time to show you yet, but um, when you're done, you can just, like, you know, store them at the side. Obviously not with the, the top off, but... Uh, Store them at the side of the box as well because you've got those little inserts there. Um, you've also got the blast away. Wasn't that good? Do you know what? My, my daughter got given a, a kind of a set. I think they were trying to copy this idea. And we persevered, we persevered, and it was rubbish. It didn't work at all. This, that was how good was that result when he did it straight away when Mark you just saw it with Renard. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, so you get the, the blast away as well to give you that lovely spray effect. Plus, as Mark said, you know, 60 stencils. We saw the lovely pur purpoise. You've got numbers on there, uh, snowflakes. Um, you've got people dancing, rockets, um, circles, landscapes. Um, speed boats, flowers, I'm just having a little look here, hearts, butterflies, borders. Um, you can use any, and what's they're reusable, as Mark said, because they absorb the colour and you're not having to wipe clean and what have you. So you get those 60 stencils as well. I want to show you some of the professional work that can be done using uh, the blendy pens. And um, there we go, look at this. Now this is, this is, this is genuinely uh, an illustration who the lady was from ja jana is from the czech republic from the czech republic janet is from the czech republic uh so she's used the blendy pens how brilliant is this now the background was photoshopped in but everything else you see was used using the blendy pens um there he is isn't that brilliant absolutely fantastic so all of that lovely detail there as well this was just to show you some of the effects that um mark just showed us as well but you can see there the magic pen coming in and the way in which those primary colours change once you use your magic pen. And again, if I just show you on the reverse, gorgeous, look at the amount of colours that you can create. That's one of those landscapes as well there. Can you see? Or sort of backdrops, I should see. It almost looks like uh, Israel. Um, and then you can see some of the more effects that can be, can be achieved. I feel like I'm prying into... Oh, look at that. I like that a lot. I feel like I'm prying into Mike's, Mark's private life, but this was made by his lovely lady, his lovely wife. Uh, Mrs. McCain that done that. Mrs. McCain did that. For my 70th birthday. You never said. No, I, of course I'm not. God, say whatever you're taking, bring it on <laughs> and, 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 and absolutely bottle it straight away. We'll all take 20 bottles of that. No, uh, for our lovely Mark's birthday. I won't show you what's inside. But that was created using the blendy pens. My goodness, I thought he's having some youth elixir. I think I was going to rename you Dorian Gray then. Um, right, so. These are the blendy pens, absolutely brilliant introductory price there. First time on her channel, the 19 and 99, 797 444. For the five pounds saving, this is everything you are getting. It's got the full instructions in there as well. Really easy to read and understand, full color instructions. We don't have to just think the little people. I'm quite keen to get involved here as well. 797 treble four. Yeah, nearly 20% of the stock has gone already. Busy on the phone lines. Uh, we've got almost three minute queues. So if you can bear with us and order online, that is brilliant. We know you're there waiting. We do appreciate your patience. Um, but let's have a little look at some seven day savings and then go straight back to Mark for more demonstrations. We've got card and paper as well. So you can use your blendy pen straight away. 50 sheets of the 120 GSM and 300 GSM, 50 of those. This is Pink Frog, so we know the quality. £12 saving, that will change at 8 o'clock Sunday morning, this Sunday weekend, £15 save. £15 there, 171505. We've got watercolour card as well, water soluble as the pens are. Uh, so you'll be able to use those pens on there. Oh, that would be beautiful as well with the spraying effect, with the blast away. £12.60, you've got uh, £16 saving there. 50 of the watercolour A4 textured card, 082084. 
Um, we've also got some yarn on there as well, I seem to remember as well. Oh, some Till Tim Holtz card stock as well. Um, ideology paper, stash card stock, Warflower is the theme. $24.99, there's some really, really beautiful um, card in there. You know what Tim Holtz is like. It's reversible, double-sided, some beautiful, beautiful imagery and a lot of sepia um, and sage and grass, vintage tones there. Really, really beautiful, well worth a look-see. Um, okay, so that's a quick reminder there, our seven day savers, more on the website, but let's go back to Mark. Right, uh, as I mentioned, the pens themselves, you have 10 pens, but when you mix and match them, you get 56 different colors. So that's just some of the blends here. Uh, this one here is purple to blue, but then I've used the purple with brown, a purple uh, with red, so you can mix them all up. So if I take my blue and yellow again, right? Now remember, you can use them as ordinary pens. They have lovely nibs. So the nibs themselves, uh, right almost like a roller ball. So you can use them on card, they're fantastic for card. You could use it uh, on wood, tiles. Uh, just give it a wee twist. Now remember my blue pen is now sitting on top of my yellow pen. So I'm adding blue ink to yellow pen. So this is a nice backdrop here. But you can reuse the pens over and over and over again. Now the pens have got a three year shelf life. Now that doesn't necessarily mean they'll last for three years. Obviously it depends how much you're using them, but they certainly could last for three years. And I've got plenty of customers over the many years that have done craft fairs uh, that have had them for years and years. Uh, I'm now taking my same blue pen, but I'm gonna add black ink to it. Now remember, we've only got one blue in the box. So if I want my blue to be a bit darker, I darken it down. Now I tend to put the darker color, what I perceive to be the darker color on top. So let's just have a go with this. So we've darkened the blue down. But then remember, as you're colouring in, you're going to arrive back at your original colour again. Now watch what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take my magic pen, that's a white pen. Now the lovely thing about the, the white pen is if I'm doing a big exhibition, now remember, one of the problems that I've got this year is there probably won't be any exhibitions, so this is kind of the only place you can get my pens at the moment. Uh, but I can be working with the one set of pens day after day after day using the same magic pen from nine in the morning till five at night at some of the exhibitions and you never pick up any of the residual colour from your pen. So remember, here's my white pen. So that's uh, me in far off places there on the beach somewhere. But the same pen uh, I'll use here. So I've now got one pen which has given me multiple colours. So that's my nice wee seaside, right? Which uh, I don't get to go to at the moment. Now remember, you can write with the pens, uh, all the individual colours, and every set comes with the blaster. Now, don't forget the blaster will work with uh, regular felt-tip pens if they fit into it. So if I take one of my pens now, and Fiona was looking at my nice cityscape there. As my wife always points out, uh, your stencil can just be the starting point, right? So we're just giving you uh, a wee hint with your stencil and then you can build the picture up. So if we take my cityscape here and my blaster, remember you can still blend your pens and use a blaster. So we'll use a couple of stencils here. So there's my cityscape, that's my favorite stencil. Uh, like I say, if it's good enough for Banksy, it's good enough for me and we'll add a nice sun. Uh, so these pens will really give you a rainbow of colours. Can I say that? Kaleidoscope of colours. Well, rainbows are good these days, aren't they? And, uh, and then take my magic pen now and we'll add a wee bit extra colour. So we're going to add the lights in my city here. Or a wee smiley face for smiley times. So you get the whole set today. You get your 10 pens. That gives you 56 colours. You get your detail pen for doing your outlining. 60 stencils. Now remember, you can use the stencils over and over again. They absorb the ink, so you don't have to wipe them clean. And your blaster. Uh, and it's absolutely a privilege to be here. And it's the only place you can buy them. Fiona. Thank you, Mark. I've, I've managed to procure some black card so I can show everybody those lovely stencils you were just talking about rather than my useless description. So here we go. Let's have a little look here. 
um, palm trees, borders there, because you get the 60 stencils, as Mark explained, that you can reuse over and over again, and it'll just absorb the colour, which is water soluble. Um, so we've got palm trees here, we've got some flourishes here, some beautiful borders as well, very versatile. So that's just one stencil, because you're getting uh, 60 in total. So that's just one of the few. Let me get another one out for you. Here is the cityscape that Mark was just using, circles, ovals, squares, arrows and stars. OK, then if we move to butterflies and roses and hearts, very, very versatile. I'm sure you agree. Then we've got a uh, couple dancing. We've got what well, I think is a yeah, it's an aeroplane, isn't it? I think I looked at it the other way and thought it was a rocket. It doesn't matter. It's what you see. Helmet. Yeah, it's almost like American baseball, isn't it? Um, or else like that band the gorillas doesn't it uh, and then yeah sort of shoot stars just exclamations there now let's get the poor po voice up there or dolphin whichever you prefer um you've got the chicken um what's going on here what's that one am i looking at it the wrong way around i'll have to ask mark about that one uh there's me is that my speedboat i'm in a boat yep, yes yeah yes yeah, yeah, speedboats what's this one mark what's that one i one. think it's some kind of foliage Foliage. Foliage. Yeah. Fo fo foliage. 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 <laughs> and then, oh, sorry, numbers. Numbers always useful. Uh, some lovely snowflake designs there. And, oh, there we go. If I turn that the right way right round, you've got apples and pears and cherries like your fruit machine. So there, 60 stencils are included, that fantastic blast away. I hadn't thought about the fact that, you know, it could work with other pens as well, which is brilliant. Not that you need any of the pens because you've got 56 fantastic colors that you can make out of this set. Plus you're getting that blast away, plus the magic pen, um, plus the, uh, the detail pen as well. And when you think about other blender pens that perhaps are out there, or sometimes you might think, I would like to try this, but a little bit more costly for me. This personally, I just think I can think of lots of people that would love to get involved in my household right now. No end, end of delight in terms of using these and the things that could be created. I think it's a fantastic set and you can just store them in the side as well. Brand new today, as Mark explained. This is his first time on air for Chanda, uh, but obviously been to all the uh, creative shows and craft shows. And uh, he'll have to tell you the rest of that story about Tony Hart. 1999-797-444. And nearly a quarter of the stock has gone, so let's go back and join Mark. That's great that you remember Tony Hart. And it's true, I was at the uh, big exhibition in London, Tony Hart. The product then was called the Jet Snake. And it was like the foot pump you get with a lilo. And as you pumped it, it pumped air up again over the nozzle onto the pen. So 30 years later, uh, you've got your blaster. Right, let's do some more colouring. Now, remember, you can mix and match all your pens. And sometimes you think the colours shouldn't work. Brown and purple. Oh. Now, I absolutely love the purple anyway. So, like I say, if you really like art, if you're into painting, if you're into your pens anyway, uh, at any age group from 3 to 103, uh, so if there's anyone at 104, you know, we draw the line there, but uh, anybody can use them. Now, watch how this blend comes out here. So, again, you take your two pens. Now, there's actually arrows uh, on the pens here, so you know what way you have to twist them. So, my brown pen is now sitting on top of my purple pen. So I'm adding brown ink to a purple pen. So when it goes on the paper now, we've swapped the colour over, remember? And then as you colour down and colour in, you arrive back at your original colour. So you're getting this lovely uh, derogation of colour running from brown to purple. So if you were to do this with regular pens, and I'm sure you would know this, you'd maybe need five or six different pens to get from brown to purple because you would get all the in-between colours. Now, as I said, the nibs themselves are really, really tough, so anyone can have a go with them, and I really do mean anyone. Uh, and they're lovely to write with, not that I'm a fabulous writer, but uh, they're magic, right? And don't forget, as you're colouring, you always end up back at your original colour. Now, the blaster, doesn't take any batteries, you don't plug it in, so you can literally take it anywhere, right? So anywhere, when we're allowed to take things anywhere. So we mentioned, uh, we'll do one of the wee boats here, right? So remember, I've got a blend of green and yellow here, so we should start green, but as you're blasting, you're pumping the air over the nib of the pen, like so. And the thing about the blaster is you can cover a large area, but you're using a lot less ink. So it's a wee bit like having a shower as opposed to a bath. 
And finally, the pen that everyone loves, it will turn your frown upside down. All right, and we call it the magic pen. Now don't forget the magic pen doesn't have any color to it. So when I use this on the ink that's on the paper, it brings out hidden colors. There's lots of hidden colors for you to find. So you can use this one for doing your sunsets, your skylines, your backdrops. Or don't forget my grandson, Jamie, your secret messages. So we'll just pop a pen in here. I've forgotten where I've done my secret message. I think it's up here. And then your detail pen is for doing your outlining before you use your blendies for colouring in. So I use it for doing a wee bit of shadow writing there. So the whole set, 10 pens, 56 colours, your blaster and 60 stencils, absolutely exclusive to Hochanda. Hochanda, 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 <laughs> right, Fiona. Oh, thank you, Mark. How brilliant. I'm just thoroughly enjoying uh, watching Mark demonstrate those blendy pens. We've got a lot of art going on in our house at the moment online. Uh, one week we had, uh, had to do Van Gogh and then the following week was um, Lowry. Uh, and then this week, not cheery, Edvard Munk, the screen. So uh, next week he's got to do, uh, ex um, no, that was expressionism this week, um, abstract, abstract art, self-portrait. So a bit Picasso-esque. So we're always doing art in our house. Absolutely brilliant. So if you can think of somebody right now who would love to be using these blendy pens, now's the time. First time on Hachanda, five pounds saving. Um, let's look at some of these fantastic pictures as well. Uh, that, I forgot the lady's name. Uh, Czech, uh, uh, Janet, Czech Republic. Jana. Jana. You see, there's me anglicising her lovely name. Jana from the Czech Republic. Now, I won't lie, she says she photoshopped the background in, but the rest was all done with the uh, the blendy pens. Isn't that brilliant from Renart? Absolutely. The professional brilliance there. And then it's been through the, um, what do you call them things? Just put it through. We've got one as well. What do you call it when you put the plastic? Laminate. There we go. Thank you. I seem to have lost all power of speech. This is what happens when you do homeschooling. Uh, this is fantastic as well. Love this. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, lovely blend there on the hill from the green to the yellow and the shadows of the brown. You see, as, as Mark was just explaining, you, you take several pens just to achieve that and you wouldn't nat nat naturally get that really easy graduation or gradient of, of colour, as it were. Uh, just there, the subtlety from the orange reds into the gold. I think it's absolutely brilliant. So you get that lovely depth and shadow and if you like to create that on your work. I think that's absolutely brilliant. So what are we getting? We are getting 60 of those fantastic super stencils, yeah? 60 of those with, with a plethora of designs and images on there. And uh, these just soak up the colour there as well so you can use them over and over again, yeah? 60 stencils in there. You're getting the actual blendy pens themselves. Together, they create 56 blends of colour. Yeah, absolutely. You've got your magic pen that Mark just demonstrates so we can do those secret messages. I haven't seen that for years. Uh, and then your detail pen. It looks so good, didn't it? Just outlining that, uh, those words, just brilliant. And then you can just put them up right at the side. And then you've got the blaster. And actually, as Mark said, the one we had, which was a bit defunct and useless, it was battery operated. Never got the hang of it. Uh, it would have never worked. That's why was this, you just pop your pen in and away it goes. If your pen fits in there and you can use any pens that fit in there, it will work. There we go. Blast away and create your Banksy artwork. Absolutely fantastic. All of that with a £5 saving. £19.99, treble four. Nearly a third of the stock has gone because it's affordable. Yeah, we, we love the idea perhaps of those blendy pens. Some, but sometimes there are makes out there that can be a bit expensive. OK, let's show you some seven day savers then. So we've got some pink, pink frog. Uh, this is uh, some drawing sheets for you. Is it this one or, forgive me, is it? Oh, that's the watercolour, yes. There's a, there's a kind of a gold sheen on these. Yeah, forgive me. Yeah, this is a seven, forgive me, because what, oh yeah. There's a pearlescent gold sheen, which is why I hesitated. This is this one, yeah, thank you, darling. And it didn't feel like quite 150, 120 GSM, and you get 300 that are 50 GSM, um, 12 pounds savings. So you get 50 of the 300 GSM, 50 of the 120 GSM. Uh, that's 15 pounds saving. 171505. Your seven-day savers will change again this Sunday, eight o'clock.
Oh, don't forget as well, we've got our spring savers as well. Uh, buy today and then tomorrow you get a five pound voucher if you spend over 30 pounds, yeah? And that's carrying on till uh, Tuesday at six o'clock. So you can come in each day if you like. It can't accumulate up, you have to spend it each day, but um, you can come in each day and buy. Uh, we've also got these fantastic Oakwood craft scissors, two pairs in total, 13 pounds 98. So you can keep one downstairs, one upstairs. You said if you like me up and down, up and down. You do need to do that, you do need to do that. If you're like me, you're running around trying to find the scissors. So uh, fantastic Oakwood scissors there as well with those ergonomic uh, handles as well, which are rubberized as well. So comfy. Oh, there we go. Now, micro dots. Micro dots, these are large sheets, so you can just cut these to size, whether you're sticking it in your photos and you obviously don't want uh, the glue to come through and spoil your imagery. Um, you've got five sheets in total, so it just peels off. Obviously, you cut the size that you want uh, for your general crafting, your books, your uh, travel logs. And you've also got two of the nine millimeter rolls as well. So these, these are ready ready to go and cut into your strips so that's saving 12 pounds 17 pounds 71 one one two three one seven the double sided really discreet and great for adhering things in a way that almost looks invisible now the tim holtz ideology you remember we said it was in vintage absolutely beautiful double sided obviously gorgeous this is the ideology ideology Oh, my power of speech has left me today, everybody. I do apologise. So let's have a little look. These are gorgeous, aren't they? Sepia tones. You see, on the back, you've got sort of, I don't want to say plain, but more sort of um, coverage there in terms of you've got individual images across there, like collage. Yeah, beautiful. They almost look distressed there as well. So you've got two of each of those designs. Uh, no, three by three. And they've got some motifs in here as well. So 12 by 12 inches here as well, aren't they gorgeous? I love that with the, with the script wet there, almost like a newspaper. Um, some lovely botanicals there as well. The birds and the feathers. Sorry, this is sideways, but I just want you to see both sides of the actual cardstock, as it were. Lovely sepia photo there, vintage photo. The bird cages. Look at all, yeah. Like a museum, isn't it, with all the little beetles there, the insects. There is the smaller individual ones as well, the little car toppers there as well. Um, let's take you through. It's fantastic. As you know, we love Tim Holtz in terms of those designs. So imaginative and innovative. And then the smaller ones there as well. The three by three. And then you've got your three by four as well. So we've got all the different sizes in there. A big collection, a big sturdy book, a big saving there as well. $24.99 for the ideology, <laughs> ideology uh, card stock book. $24.99, I put in the wrong teeth, Mark. That's all I'm going to say. I put in the wrong teeth this morning. <laughs> 300 GSM watercolour card now this is slightly textured if we have a little look at it it almost looks like it's ever so slightly hammered i don't know if you could see that at home that's the best way i can describe it to you it's almost like a very gentle hammered texture yeah really good quality 300 gsm i mean you can hear that wobble 12 pounds 60 massive saving this is one for your stash so if you look at the size of that that's a big stock isn't it uh 12 pounds 60 you're saving 16 pounds sunday morning eight o'clock that is going to change and revert back to the original price of 28 pounds 60 082084 let's look at that drawing paper because we've got it on an actual still uh perfect as well with your blendy pens a4 drawing paper sheets 150 gsm them. only 9.99 that is new today as a little addition because we thought you need some paper for your blendy pens 515377 okay i'm very excited now to hand back to mark and see what else we can do with the blendy pens fiona you were mentioning paper there so uh one of the great things about the blendy pens because of the type ink they use they don't dry up you have to physically use them up and it could take years to use them up so they work very very well with these uh colouring in books which are still really really popular uh, a lot of the time if you use an alcohol based uh, ink it will just go straight through the paper but if you have a look if I take one of my pens right now I've got four different types of paper here so this is your regular 80 GSM paper so I can use it on that and it doesn't go through to the other side so it doesn't bleed through uh, what I'm using I think it's 140 GSM I really do like it now remember you've got your blends so you just give them a wee twist to blend. Need my glasses to make sure I'm doing everything right. 
So again, on this paper, the pens work beautifully. All right. Now, this is a wee bit heavy. This is actually 200 GSM, so this would be perfect for your card making. So if that's uh, uh, really the craft you're liking, you could get these pens today and you could uh, put them away for Christmas next year and they'll still work or use them for doing things like Christmas cards, birthday cards, bar mitzvahs, uh, a very interesting uh, wedding gift, and then the bride or groom can do their own uh, placemats. And then of course you've got, I think this is a card that you're using here, which has got slightly raised, so a slightly orange peel effect. So it will literally work on any type of card, right? So incredibly good for your card making. Now what I'll do is I'll now use the blaster and my pens to show you that just about anything can become a stencil, right? Now remember, you get 60 stencils. So we'll start by, let's see, I'll show you. Now I'm just gonna take a bit of paper here, give it a wee tear. All right. So that's a bit of paper, and this is going to be an interesting wee thing here. Take one of my pens, and we'll go green. Now, where I live, I live in a place called Oakle Patrick, and Oakle Patrick on one side looks out over the Clyde, and on the other side, if I look out my back window, I'm looking up at what we call the Kilpatrick Hills, right? So I've only been away for a wee bit, but let's try and replicate the Kilpatrick Hills, right? So I've just torn a wee bit of paper. I'm going to use the same bit of paper just to add a little bit of undulation here. So this is how you can build up your textures. So remember what I always say from 3 to 103. Now we'll introduce one of the stencils, my favourite stencil, which is my Cityscape. So this is just showing how you can just use the blaster and remember any pens, but certainly your blended pens to great effect. Right. to build up some really solid pictures. Now, I really just like doodling, always have done, right? So they're great for doodling. Can we use that word? Doodling, right? And then a bit of a skyline. So chopping and changing your pens. So you've got the pens, you can be blending your pens and building up colors, but for the sake of the demonstration, I'm just using the single colors here. I'll invert my Kilpatrick Hills. Right. So this is now your skyline. Remember, the more you use the blaster, the longer your pens will actually last because you're using less, a lot less ink. A bit more of my blue down here. And don't forget, the pens are fabulous for writing with. So you take any of your pens, give them a wee blend together so it could be blue and yellow, blue and red, blue and black, black and green. So this is a yellow pen that we've just added. Some extra color. And then my wee sun, where's my sunset? Look at that there. So that you get your 10 pens, but that gives you 56 different colors. Uh, you get your blaster airbrush, which is fantastic in its own anyway. You can take it absolutely anywhere because it runs on fresh air. So this really should last forever. Or I guess we're all in trouble. And we include 60 stencils. So the stencils are pop-out stencils. So you just pop them out like so, and I use them over and over and over again. And it's absolutely exclusive to our channel today. So the only place you can get them is here, if you want to. Absolutely. If you've got any questions for Mark, because I know I'm going to be with Mark at... Uh, we had together at 9 o'clock tonight, yes. Uh, then please, if you've got any questions about the, the blendy pens, we are live at 9 o'clock this evening as well, uh, proving very, very popular because it's the affordability is key and the durability. Nearly a third of the stock has gone. 56 colours seamlessly blending together. And what I loved, something that Mark pointed out earlier, was the strong nylon tips. I've got a little girl. She can be a little bit heavy-handed with the, with the nib of the, the actual felt tips. And so when she's finished using them, after a while, they start to look a bit, you know, like that. Everything's going in every direction. It's just, like, completely crushed and obliterated. So the strong nylon tip was a really good. And then if you just carried on using it, they go back to their original colour anyway. Um, and you can blend again. 56 
different beautiful varieties out of those 10 colors and the magic pen when's the last time we did invisible writing honestly I, I'm, that's takes me right back to childhood you, you used to have to buy a special pen for that that's included in the set you've got your detail pen in there you can store them upright at the side so when you're working you've got them to hand you've got that lovely blast away which is not battery operated it's fantastic which therefore means it works and if you've got pens that will fit into there they can also be adapted and used as you know that lovely spray texture that mark just demonstrated and of course included as well as well as five pounds off today we've got 60 stencils so let's remind ourselves of those stencils um so you've got the fruit i've just shown you there on the fruit machine the snowflakes you've got your numbers and your waves um we had da toucan uh foliage uh speedboats little dolphin there flowers we've got a couple dancing we've got um well, you could look at it two ways, an aeroplane or a space rocket. You've got the helmet there, expressions there as well. Butterflies and hearts, roses, the lovely cityscape circles, always generic and brilliantly to use, and ovals, arrows, squares, palm trees and borders and more foliage there as well. So yeah, absolutely brilliant. But you mustn't just think, I mean, they, these, are, these are great fun, but you can create some really serious, beautiful art and sh Jenna, 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 I'm looking over to my Jenna from the Czechoslovakia, from the Czech Republic, I should say, sorry, I'm placing us somewhere else now, uh, from the Czech Republic, it created these literally days ago, and look at that beautiful blending with the blender pens, um, creating this gorgeous artwork, I mean, isn't that fantastic, the quality and the standard there, if you've got that artistic flair, these pens are so adaptable, aren't they? The background, uh, Mark explained, was photoshopped in, uh, but you've got that wonderful gradient between the green into the yellows, almost like a mustard colour, and then into the brown. I mean, you'd have to use several pens, wouldn't you, to have achieved that? And then you've got your detail pen to really highlight the outline. And then our giant, isn't he brilliant? Uh, it looks like, a, I don't know if she's an illustrator for books, but she could be. It's absolutely fantastic, isn't it? Isn't he brilliant? And then just some of the effects. That's just what Mark was just showing us. Uh, that was a birthday card. It's lovely lovely wife made that card there you go with the background and the detail uh, so if you love your card making if you love your scrapbooking if you love having a creative flair there something like, look, look, look at that with the magic pen changing it and then the detail pen on the outside isn't it brilliant so to have all of that out of one set to, s to have that spray effect to have that change of color to have 56 blends of colors at your fingertips with just a mere 10 pens is phenomenal 60 stencils plus your little blast away for 19.99 uh, don't miss out first time on her chanda today yeah so if you want the paper to go with it at the bottom of the screen 9.99 that's 150 gsm which mark said was ideal as well and i love that idea of it not going through the paper because that's something that can happen time and time again, especially the colouring books. We've got loads at home as well. You know, all the Zentangle and what have you. And the, they put images on both sides, don't they, sometimes? And you just think, well, that's ruined the back now, isn't it? Because all the pen's gone through it. Not with these. They're superb. So many, so many advantages to the blendy pen. So please don't miss out. Alrighty. Uh, nearly 40% of the stock has gone. I'm going to hand over to Mark. Fiona, thank you ever so much. Uh, You'd mentioned borders then. Some of our stencils uh, are borders anyway, but you can also use the, the blends with the magic pen for doing your own borders. So, uh, because the magic pen's actually, it's got a fabulous nib, it's etched. So you can get a nice thick nib or you can get a very fine nib. So we'll have a wee look at that. Now remember to get your blends, you pick two pens, give them a wee twist together. There's arrows on the pens, pop them on your paper, any type of paper, uh, glossy card. Right. And then as you colour down, you arrive back at your original colour. So you can mix and match your pens. So again, if I take my blue pen and I'll add it to the black pen. So I'm going to darken down my blue. And then we'll just show off that magic pen. Uh, when I used to do a lot of exhibitions, which was very recently, uh, we had these pens at a motorbike show in Edinburgh. We have them at the caravan show, any type of shows. They just... There's never a bad place to demonstrate these pens, but we're now at the best place to demonstrate them, at the home of craft, right? Now watch this, remember my, 
magic pen. Now, I used to have a lady called Rosemary, and Rosemary would come to the shows, uh, and she was part of what they call the Heavy Horse Brigade, and I lost Rosemary's artwork last summer at a show when it was torrential rain, and they get, they get soaked, and it's a shame. But what Rosemary would do is she would use the pens, uh, the magic pen, for adding detail work. So she was great at doing birds, I'm not. She was great at doing horses, uh, so uh, fishes. So if you can imagine, using the magic pen just to add a bit of detail work. Now, these colours that I'm going over here, uh, I actually done this wee colour chart about a fortnight ago, uh, but the ink stays active, so you can go over it at a later date and chop and change detail work, right? So the ink's always active. Uh, or you can do your magic uh, everybody likes uh, a, a little magic uh, pen from time to time. You can use that on the paper, then go over it a week, two weeks, uh, a month later to reveal the secret message, and we all like secret messages. So let's do some, use this etched magic pen for doing my borders. So if you want to jazz up a jotter, all right. Good thing about the pens, because they're non-toxic, uh, they can be used when we're allowed again in schools, colleges, art schools. Uh, so you could use these for doing a lot of great project work. Where you're maybe not allowed to take in acrylic uh, paint or alcohol pens. Look at that. I think that's a great wee effect there, the way you're blending your colours. Now remember, you've got your detail pen. If, like Yana, you are good at art, you would use a detail pen for adding detail. See if I can actually do this here. So I just use it for just jazzing things up a wee bit. Under there, 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 there. I used to be good at doing motorcycles and trees. In fact, I used to do a tree pretty well, like David Hockney's trees. He was showing off this year, uh, this week. So, so lots of branches. So that's one way to do nice borders. Uh, you also, as you'll know, you get the blaster. Works with fresh air, so you don't plug it in. There's no batteries required. So literally, you can take it anywhere. Uh, one of our best-selling pens uh, about 15, 20 years ago was a pen called a blow pen. And blow pens were fantastic. It was a, uh, like a pen you blow through to get an airbrush effect. But in today's uh, strange times, this is probably even better because you don't, uh, you don't blow through it, you just give it a wee squeeze. And what it's doing is pumping air over the nib of the pen. So remember, when you use it with stencils, and you can make your stencils, and we give you 60 stencils to get you started. Uh, Stenciling is fantastic. And don't forget, my last Ocopatrick Hills, or Copatrick Hills, were a bit, uh, a bit rolling, so I've made a wee bit steeper. Patrick Hill for you here. So look at this here. So remember, anything can become a stencil. Now remember, all the pens have got dual pigment, all the color pens. So what that means is, oh, that's a much nicer Patrick Hill. Right. What it means is your green pen, if you want to swap the color, will go red. So it goes to the colour at the top of the pen. Your red pen goes yellow. Your blue pen goes, it's more like a luminous yellow. Uh, so you, your secret colour is the colour at the end of the pen. So remember, to get them to blend, just a little twist. My black pen is now sitting on top of my blue pen, so I'm darkening down my blue. Now, if, if I kept it on for about 15, 20 seconds, would take the pen right to black, right? So you can get right to the secondary colour and then just keep colouring until you end up back at your original colour. And you can do that over and over and over and over again. You won't uh, retain the secondary colour on the pen. And also remember, I've been working now with this magic pen uh, all this show, but these pens uh, I've used before uh, this show. And the magic pen is still lovely and clean because it doesn't hold on to your colour. So that's the one that you can use to change your colour. So we've now got one pen, which is actually giving you multiple tones, uh, or 
like my grandson, Jamie. This is a pen you'd use for doing your secret messages. And everyone likes a secret message from time to time. And then go over it to reveal what the message is. And that's wow or mum, right? Fiona. Thank check you. out your wife's card. Is there a secret message on here? Uh, there could be. She might. She might have done one. <laughs> well, she might have done one. Uh, yeah. Let me show you that magic pen because I want. Uh, Mark talked about the nib. It is a chisel nib there, so you can actually. Let me just get that card for you. It can create that lovely sort of calligraphy, can't you? In terms of the finer point and sort of the chiseled end there as well, which I think is really important. And as he said, you know, remains clean and. Um, one of the first things Mark showed me was, yes, he'd already done the colour chart a couple of weeks ago, and the ink still remained active when this was applied. I thought, I thought that was phenomenal. You didn't have to do it straight away. You could go back to it. So how much have you paid, uh, just speaking you know, out loud, for sort of ombre cardstock? Um, you could do a faux matte and layer with the pens behind. Um, I just love the secret messages, quite frankly, I'm a big child at heart. Um, you've got the, the spray there with the blast away. You've got 56 different varieties of colour. I mean, how much would you spend on, on a set of pens, 56 pens to achieve that kaleidoscope of colour? I mean, you imagine there's probably a lot of craft crafters out there that probably have got a stash of 56 pens or more. Um, but if you add up how much maybe we've spent in that over that in the past and right now today for 56 colours out of 10 pens alone plus the magic pen plus the, the black detail pen maybe you've seen the different colour change pens out there available when you blend them as well. I mean this is such an affordable price. Um, 19 and 99 and what fun to be had plus we've also got those 60 fantastic stencils um, and you've got full instructions here I mean in case you're thinking what do I do about twisting it is so simple there is a step-by-step -step instructions there on the front literally one two three four and there you go you mix and match into 56 different colors so so easy to get that real fine art blended effect and they are water soluble so you'll be able to get Perhaps if you wanted to, I imagine I'll ask Mark this. Could we could we uh, take a water brush and, and take it even further with the pens? Would that, or does, I, does it dry quite quickly, Mark? What I've had sometimes, if I'm working outdoors and you're maybe doing an event, like one of the big outdoor shows, and it starts raining, if raindrops drop on it, obviously it starts to... Uh, I don't even know what the word be, not being an artist, but yeah, it dissolves ink, yeah. so moves it, yeah, you can so move it, it around. Yeah, yeah, so. so if you were looking for that as a deliberate technique, yeah. we could use that with our water brush as well. I have, some people have bought these pens at shows, exhibitions in the past, and they use them in a completely different way, uh, thinking outside the box. They've just used them in completely different ways to what I would use them. As I say, I've, uh, for almost 30 years, I've been involved with the company, help, uh, put together the demonstrations and seen the pens really, really develop. Uh, but I've always just been a doodler. I've never really taken... Uh, but, but that's fantastic. Do you, uh, doodling is, is really good. It's, it's mentally, it's really good for you just sitting down and colouring. Uh, but when, when a proper artist, we're all artists, certainly on a Saturday night, uh, when a real artist gets hold of these pens, what they do with them is, is fantastic. So they're really unique. As I say, my granddaughter Poppy, she's only just turned four. What she does with them is completely different to what Jamie, who's 11, does with them. Uh, my son, Daniel, who is a really good artist, Daniel's 26 now, he uses them in a different way again. Uh, my wife is fabulous for card making. I mean, she really loves her card making, whereas I just like to colour. You know, I just like to, to colour. So, yeah, water soluble. Uh, you still take precautions with them. They're still ink, it's still pens, but uh, there are no better day for me if I'm at a show or an exhibition when I end up covered in ink because I know I've had a really busy day, right? So that's it, and all I do is just wash it off. Uh, will I just run through that again? Yes, please Another do, quick yes. Game for you, yes, right? So do. just to reiterate, the pen set, you can only get them here, right? So if you think, well, that really would be a nice birthday gift or a Christmas gift or uh, an Easter gift next year, we don't know what's happening, right? So th that's, we just don't know what's happening. Take advantage of them. They will be as good 
in two years' time as they are today. So don't be scared to buy them and put them away uh, if you're thinking they'd be a fantastic gift. Certainly, you'll get hours and hours and hours of fun with them. And uh, if you're giving it to kids, what that translates to is hours and hours and hours of peace and quiet. Trust me on that one, right? So let's go again, right? So you've got your blended pens. You've got 10 pens. You can use each pen as an individual pen. So that's an absolutely sensational purple, right? Uh, a lovely brown. So what I'm going to do is mix these two pens together. So I've got my brown pen and a purple. And you give them a little twist. Uh, now, there's arrows on the pen. So one of my hands is going in one direction and one of the hands is going in the other direction. So the ribs are now touching. And they're designed in such a way that even if I was, and I'm not Arnold Schwarzenegger, I can't damage your nibs, so you can't pressurise them too much. You can't, uh, these nibs won't splay like regular felt-tip pens. That can be the problem, certainly with pens, when you put them in the hands of someone that's a bit heavy-handed, uh, the nibs can last for seconds rather than for years. So remember, this is a purple pen. So as we colour down and colour in, you arrive back at the original colour, so I can now use that purple pen with a yellow pen, purple with green, uh, purple with black, just over and over again. The nibs are nylon rather than felt. So if you're writing with them, if you like your uh, calligraphy, they're a really lovely pen if you like things like fancy writing. But they write a bit like a rollerball. So believe it or not, you can use them upside down, just the way the ink pushes. So they're lovely to write with. And you immediately get an effect there, right? And don't forget, you always end up back at your original colour. Uh, today, of all days, right, they come with their blaster. Now, the blaster is an airbrush, right? First seen almost 30 years ago, demonstrated by the fabulous artist Tony Hart. Uh, it was originally a foot pump up into the nozzle. We've now reduced it to a lovely wee just hand pump here. Uh, it was originally called a jet snake. You might know it in your past as a uh, blitzer. Then we came out with the spritzer, and then we came out with blow pens, and now we've got the blaster, and it's a fantastic tool in its own right. So this will work with regular pens, as long as the nib will go over the nozzle. And remember that the nib, you push the pen right into it. So if the pen is just sitting off the nozzle a wee bit, you won't get the same effect. And if you put it in the hands of someone younger, uh, Poppy's four, uh, Jamie really got the hang of this, uh, I think he was about five, let them play with it, right? It's like anything. I'm a, a pretty good guitarist, but I didn't pick up the guitar in day one and suddenly play Stairway to Heaven. Uh, I still can't play Stairway to Heaven. But, you know, it, some things take practice. And the blaster, you will get really good with it the more you practice with it. 60 stencils. The stencils are card, so you can use them over and over again. All right. Uh, they just absorb the ink. And by the way, if you are using the blaster with your blending pens and you're using it an awful, awful lot, what might happen is you might end up blasting all the ink off the nib of the pen. Now remember, the pen has to continually reload with ink. So you've got a filter in here full of ink. So sometimes you might think, all right, the pen's not working. It, has. it just needs a little bit of time for the ink to get back to the nib. And here's a nice butterfly, all right? Just one of your many stencils you get. And also the magic pen. Now the magic pen has an etched nib, so you can use it for a very thick line or a fine line. All right. uh, if you use it directly onto the paper, there's no obvious color to it. But when it goes over the ink that's on the paper, right, the blue pen will go yellow, the yellow pen will go red, so you start to swap your colours over, right? So you'll now use this pen here for adding a bit of detail to your blend. So my blend is now my backdrop, and I've got one pen that's actually giving you multiple tones. Uh, here's a nice wee effect here on my magic or add to my butterfly. Look at that there. Or don't forget, Jamie's favorite thing is secret messages, and everyone likes a secret message. So I'll get my purple pen here, and the purple goes to a nice pink, right? So, oh, look at that, cool. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. Now, 
the whole set today. Uh, this is the only place you can buy them. We this set here because there are other types of blended pens out there, but this is the only set which is a color change pen, the color change blendies, uh, your blaster, and also those stencils. And normally we'd have just retailed them in the largest uh, uh, toy and craft shop in the United Kingdom, but obviously now this is where you can get your pens. Uh, you get your pens. 60 stencils, so you get all your stencils. A great set of instructions. Now, if if uh, you're allowed to look at YouTube, right, uh, have a wee look, put in blended pens on YouTube, and you'll get to see other demonstrations from that big store I mentioned. Uh, but they come with great instructions, shows you how to use the blaster as well. And don't forget your blaster. Uh, and it's absolutely exclusive here today to Hoshanda. Thank Chanda. you very much. Well right, thank put. You. Thank you to Mark. We'll see more of Mark's demonstrations at nine o'clock tonight. Absolutely fabulous. So if you do want to do those investigations, you've got plenty of time. I don't know about you, but if you've been watching Mark and thinking, I want to have a go, I'm literally here going, oh, I'm dying to have a go with these blendy pens, then please make sure you pop them in your basket. And don't forget to check out while you've got that big £5 saving. And we'll see what else we've got tonight. And we'll see Mark at nine.